Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I'm a travel agent that specializes in Disney vacations, but I can help you travel anywhere. And one of those places I can help you travel is Baltimore. I recently spent two nights at the Hotel Revival Baltimore, which is a Hyatt property located in the Mount Vernon neighborhood of Baltimore. You can see here that it is a few blocks from the Inner Harbor and that tourist area, and right around it you will find the Baltimore Washington Monument, the Walters Art Museum, and lots and lots of restaurants and bars. If you are driving, they do offer valet parking. There is also street parking, but I would highly recommend just going ahead and using the valet parking. If you're traveling by train, it is not that far from the train station, and if you're traveling to BWI, you are probably going to want to rent a car or hire a airport transfer. During our recent visit, we utilized the valet and the valets themselves were very nice, but we did have two issues. One is that we did not realize that there were two entrances to the hotel. You want the entrance on Cathedral Street to use the valet. Secondly, when we called down in the morning to ask for our car, uh, nobody went and got our car and no one was at the valet stand so we did end up waiting about an extra 15 minutes at the valet stand waiting for someone to show up once someone did show up he very kindly like raced to our car and did an excellent job but there is definitely a disconnect there and we were asked to call down when we were ready to get our car so a little bit of a disconnect okay let's take a tour of this hotel so you'll enter in the two-story lobby that is so cute there are tons and tons of places to sit, hang out with your friends. The lobby even has a bar at certain hours. You will notice right away at this hotel that it is extremely stylized. It feels very hipster and old school to me at the same time. They tout themselves as Baltimore's only art hotel, and there is certainly a ton of art throughout the building in the hallways, in the lobby, in the rooms. There's a lot of art and it is very, very Baltimore. You'll see signs on a lot of the art pieces telling you local Baltimoreans created this art. And there's a really fun mix of this obviously old classic building with new art. It's very beautiful, extremely Instagrammable. I would say that my favorite thing and the best thing about this hotel is the look. On the lower level of the lobby, you'll find the Dashery, which is the hotel's coffee shop. It's open for breakfast and lunchtime. There's plenty of seating in here, lots of coffee options and some other drinks. There is also grab and go items, snacks, prepackaged things, bottled drinks. There were even some made to order items like sandwiches and breakfast sandwiches, so lots of yummy options. In addition to a coffee shop on the lower level, there are also three private karaoke rooms that are part of a speakeasy, which was not open while we were there. They are redoing it but the rooms looked really fun. The hotel also had meeting rooms, so if you are having an event here, I am certain that you can rent them. There is a great gym with a great variety of equipment. They even had some free water bottles, free weights, treadmill, a step machine. They had all sorts of stuff going on in here. All the way at the top of the hotel is the Topside Full Service Bar and Restaurant. This had stunning views of the city. This is a look at it early in the morning. It is only open for dinner, but you are able to pop up here and look at the views if you want at any time. And you can see there's lots of comfortable seating as well as standard dinner seating. You've got a great view of the Washington Monument, which is the iconic structure right next to the hotel. Here's a look at the menu. You can see that there are lots of great options, lots of drink options and food options. And this is only open for dinner, but you can take a look at the views in the morning as I did if you would like. The elevator in the building was secure. You had to have a key card to get anywhere, which was annoying, but it is very nice that it's secure because you could walk off the street into this building. So that is a nice safety procedure. All right, let's take a quick room tour. So you walk in here, you have a closet that had a steamer, but no iron. There is a safe in there, luggage rack, perfectly fine closet space. There was also a hairdryer in the closet, and then you have this large bathroom. I will say that the second night that we stayed there, there was no hot water in the shower. So we both took two cold showers, so that was fun. You have your amenities in here, in the pump bottles in the shower. And nice shower head. 
Yep, only issue with this bathroom is that there was no hot water the second day. You get this nice little table and chairs, eat at or work. Full length mirror, which is very nice. And there was lots of windows, lots of natural light. We didn't pay for a view, so just some industrial city views. There is a mini fridge. There were some complimentary water. This TV was great. It got Netflix and the internet, so you could log into all of your programs, which I love. Lots of storage in here as well. So one issue that we did have with the room is that the thermostat did not really work. It was rather hot. Um, even though it was cold outside, I had to turn the air conditioning on, and then it did work a little bit, but I don't think the heat setting was really working properly. So we got lots of drawers here. And then here is the coffee. Okay, let's get into the coffee situation. Um, maybe this is just us, but the coffee itself was more of an electric tea kettle, and then you had to do pour over coffee into the mug, which A, takes a long time, and B, we were not familiar with it. There were no instructions, so uh, we had to Google how to use it. I, I just looked up the name of the coffee machine. But they did give you lots of tea, lots of coffee, all the things you could need there. A lot of the products in the room were from Baltimore-based companies, and that was advertised. There were scannable barcodes on a lot of the things that would take you and show you all the Baltimore-based companies that made these items. And here is the bed. Again, everything in here is just so cute. Very photographable, very Instagrammable. This light is super fun. The bedside tables had ample light. They had that phone there. They had pockets for storage. Lots of USBs. We love that. More storage here. Plenty of storage in this room. Now this bed. It is cute. I did not find it comfortable. Neither did my husband. It was very low to the ground. Um, and it was just, you know, not a luxury bed. And just square footage of this room, it was not super big. It was not a problem for me, the square footage. It was perfectly ample for the two of us. But if you're spending a ton of time in this room, it might feel a little small. We were on the 12th floor, and we did not hear any street noise. We did hear some noise from the hallway. We did have a nice little view of the cathedral. You know, I really had to, like, look for it but we did not pay for a view so there's absolutely no problem with that and again there's lots of natural light lots of windows which was very nice let's talk about the rooms at this hotel you have the option for a standard room with a standard view or you can get a city view there are also options for upgraded rooms that are larger in size and even suites let's talk pricing those standard rooms you're looking at 200 to 300 dollars a night for the upgraded rooms, you're going to pay an additional about $25 to $30. And for those suites, you're going to be paying an additional about $80 to $90 a night. Now, this property is owned by Hyatt, which means that you can use and earn your Hyatt points. If you have any sort of credit card that deals with Hyatt, then that's a great bonus. So to sum it all up, this hotel is beautiful. There's artwork everywhere. It's a very authentically Baltimore experience. But at this price point, with the issues that we had, with the amenities, with the type of room, the comfort level, I would not choose to stay here again. And the location is not like right on the Inner Harbor or anything like that. So at this price point, I am looking for some amenities. Obviously, it's in a city. Things are more expensive in a city. We all understand that. But unless you are prioritizing the look and this is super your vibe and you really just want an instagrammable trip i wouldn't recommend staying here if the look and the vibe are your number one priority as well as having some nice dining options then this is the place for you to stay i think you will enjoy it just go in knowing what level of amenities you're going to be getting thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe for more content like this if you are interested in traveling to Baltimore or anywhere, I would love to be your travel agent. Just contact me for a free no obligation quote at the information above and have a great vacation.